Macron, you wanted to go out in style. Do you feel that was uh, exactly that? Yeah, just for me personally, just really, really happy for the fans. I think they've been absolutely amazing the whole the whole year. And sometimes you get a couple of new fans who catch the first game mm. and hopefully um, made them um, want to come back next season and uh, support the guys. But the atmosphere in the final few minutes, thats anyone that was here this afternoon will be itching to get next season started already, I'm sure. Um, I think we've always had a good reputation of, of our crowd being like, our fans being um, truly supportive and loud. And they really showed that. And, uh, you know, for a change, I think the guys showed some... Um, great um, um, execution in the last minutes where we usually would um, crumble or make um, tired mistakes. I think we held it together and um, were able to get over the finish line for a very important win. You hinted at it there. What was key to victory this afternoon? I think just sticking to, to playing team basketball. Um, I think it's a good group of guys that we've had. Um, when we run the system and stick to the plays, we're pretty solid. It's um, When we go into a bad patch, sometimes we have players tend to want to save the day and put their Superman cape on, and we don't need them to do that. We just need them to stick to what um, works and stick to the structure. Was that something close to a 40-minute performance? i say it was probably our closest. I think we were a little flat to start off the, um, the third, but then we managed to pick it up and get back in the game within the third um, because that has kind of been our, one of our bad um, quarters. So, um, you know, one of the key factors defensively that I've always said is it's very important we keep a team under 80 points. So when I saw that they weren't going to get over 80, I felt that we were pretty confident, that I was pretty confident that we'd get the win. Every team is going to have their, their spell during a game and Flyers, I think it was a 10-point lead that they forged out. But you must be pleased with the way that that 10-point lead, 10-point deficit for Scorchers was turned into a 14-point lead at the end. Yes, I think, um, you know, it's, uh, this is the part where we're talking about team basketball and, um, and trust in each other. You know, I think at the one, when we did make a big run, it was about our MVP player of the year, which was Quincy. You know, Quincy was on the side still supporting. And I think we had Kalen at the point where we actually made that run. And that's what we needed to do is um, no, no, no fault of Quincy's, but I think um, he deserved being our most valuable player. And I overplayed him at times. So, you know, giving him the adamant rest and trusting in the other players becomes a key um, point for us to be successful. And a word about that MVP, Quincy. 20 points again today. What, what has he brought to the team? You know, um, I always say that I can always improve as a coach and I feel that he can always improve as a player, but he's been ultimate, you know, he's the first guy into the gym and he's the last guy to leave the gym all the time. He keeps on working hard and um, so the, the one part that we have had a little chat about if we're able to bring him back is that, that that's really key is, is him taking ownership of the team. As I said, we're a bunch of nice guys, but he needs to um, form a little bit of an attitude to himself and, and demand more from his teammates by being that leader and then I think then he'll be the complete package. That's it, the fans have gone home happy, they're going to enjoy their summer but your work continues, I guess, you know, it's, you've, yeah. got, you've got a summer ahead of you, a long summer. It's, you know, I always, I, I, sometimes, you know, I call it love in basketball and I sometimes call basketball a disease that you just can't get rid of. Um, I need to take a break and refocus and take the time because obviously there's a lot of emotions that are involved in it, but I've got to make basketball decisions in terms of what's going to be best for our club. And um, at the same time, as much as I, all these guys have done, they given their most and stuff in that day, it's about the chemistry being perfectly um, cohesive on the basketball court. And we've shown that in sparks just now for 40 minutes. So it's, it's, it's finding out what, what act, extras we can add to that. And as you said, that just means leaves no room for um, no room for um, a holiday, a uh, big, big holiday, because the next two months is all about trying to get uh, the team signed up. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your efforts in the last nine months. We hope you get a holiday, but we'll see you very soon. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Once again, thanks, everybody, for great support. Go Scorchers.